Hello, good afternoon, this is Diecast Luna. I hope you're all doing well on this Saturday afternoon. And as I mentioned in the previous video, I was thinking of looking at one of my large scale cars from my collection, and um, so I have. Um, I don't collect large scale cars anymore, I used to. Um, this channel is mainly about 1 in 64 scale, and I'm thinking of branch that to 1 in 43rd scale now a little bit. Um, but uh, I don't tend to collect anymore, I've got a large, large scale collection but it's mainly because of the the price they've gone up to now and the room it takes but it is nice every now and again just to show the odd large scale car and as i've got quite a few in my collection i will be still showing them from time to time but anyway this is uh, by by auto world um i think this was uh, legends of the quarter mile was the uh cars they did they did they did quite a few um i can't remember all the cars they did now but this one, anyway, this is the 1971 Ford Mustang NHRA Funny Car. Obviously, it's got the uh, LA Hooker logo on the side, and it was driven by a guy called Steve Condent. Uh, Condit, sorry. Um, but I'm not going to go massive on the details of what the car could and couldn't do. I just wanted to show it, really. But uh, anyway, so here's the car. And as you can see, it's, it's a, it is really done well. I mean... I did not pay a lot for this when I bought it. I think it was like sixty pounds. So, and it is a like the real car, plastic body shell. Obviously, the real car is fiberglass, but uh, you can see it's just really, really nicely done. And then uh, I spin around to the front. You can see the big blower there sticking through. And it's obviously the same down the side. And you've got all the logos and all the, all the sponsoring on the side. You've got the parachute. But I'm going to try and... No, I'll do that anyway. I'm going to show what the car looks like in its sort of... If they're working on it or when they're um, going to enter the car. Now, I'll see if I can do this with one hand, if I can get the prop in. I've got this lovely actual metal prop. Now, this goes right i'm just going to pause for two seconds because i'm going to end up dropping it and there it is back in so like you can see the the prop goes there and then pops up underneath there just like the real car but uh this is the sort of scene you see before they they race off you know and you see the cars running and then obviously they'll drop the front down but it is done like i said i just wanted to show it because for what I paid for it, the several few years ago that I bought it, it's just done so, so well. But uh, anyway, so that's the sort of, you know, mode of where they're about to take off, like work, you know, I suppose when in the pits or before they go for a run. Now let's take this prop back out. Now, actual fact, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll pause it again quickly. And there it is. It's off. Um, I mean, the body shell, if we just look at this quickly... It's just so, so nice. I mean, you've got uh, Joy Coca-Cola, trademark. I mean, it is. It is. I've looked at the real car several times, and it's this is flawless. I mean, it really is flawless. You know, you've got the fire extinguisher in there, dual fire extinguishers. And if you look on the inside, you can see it's all like, it's authentically done. Like I said, it is it is plastic, so let's try and turn it around a bit so we can get some more details. But yeah. So that's the obviously the top. And then here's the car itself, and you've got the uh lovely uh now I think this is a five hundred cubic inch engine, I'm not quite sure. Um but you can see all the now these are actual metal uh, pipes there going around the back of the motor <laughs> you can see all the supercharger and they're actual if I can get to see it properly actual proper uh, rubber belt going around all the pulleys there and you can see all the HT leads <laughs> and you can see all the other pipes and wires you can see the fuel tank down there 
and obviously the wheel steer and these are metal actual metal uh, exhausts but it's just done really really well and it's and it's all the rest of it's all die cast so you've got all the framework is all this all these tube in here is all die cast you can see it's got photo etched seat belts and belts there and you've got the steering but it's like I said it's just done really really well really nice and you've got the tires got a bit of dust on there but these are actually scuffed up to make it look like they've been racing you can see a bit of dust but um, they are actually meant to be like half a little bits of dust they're actually meant to be like that that's sort of scuffed scuffed effect it's like it's had a race so. <laughs> now these things as far as I remember these don't have a gearbox they just they have a clutch or something like a clutch so you can pull away and then they just go I'll take a look at the bottom that's really really cool But uh, yeah, see it, everything's chromed, that's all metal, all the steering gear's metal. And if you look, see if I can get to the angle, you can see that it's got a metal diff, that's an actual metal diff. You can see the disc brakes in the background. Even though this was a stop by parachute, it still had, it still had rear disc brakes as well. And you've got the sort of chicken bar, wheelie bar. That actually has real little wheels that spin and like I said it's weighty <laughs> but anyway like I said it's I'm not going to go in massively into the details of this car I just wanted to show how good it is again something else there that's more the linkage bar that's all metal but uh, it's just a really really impressive model and like I said I didn't pay a lot for it um, and if you're a fan of drag racing, then obviously this is for you. Anyway, so that's that. I just thought I'd show it. I don't want to go on about it too much, like I said, because I have shown it before in a previous video. Um, but anyway, so please like and subscribe, and uh, I will see you all again tomorrow. I've got another Mainline Monday video to do tomorrow. I've got some new cars for that. And I've also managed to pick up, um, actually I won't say, I believe it is a surprise. I've got something extra to show on the Mainline Monday for tomorrow. So anyway, please like and subscribe. See you all soon.